Hey everybody, welcome back to Coloma. Let's keep booming. Alrighty, so just trying to figure out what do I want to do. And I, I so I could take advantage of this. I'd be able to get the money by giving up a card so that I could actually do another bridge. Um but not a or I'm sorry, not a bridge, another river, which would give me a horse or a camp, or I could steal the last barrel. But I don't think so. I think I'm going to wait until I actually have some gold so that when I come here, provided I come here at a boom time, that I can do both of these because I'll need gold to be able to do two actions. And I mean, I know gold is coming in my near future. So if I'm not doing that, well, I know I can't build anything, but I could come here anyway just to convert a card into two guys. And if there was a bust, and when I came here, I'd also get to draw another card, so I'd have more options in my hand. And now that's interesting. I mean, I wouldn't come here normal because I do not have the money or the gold to be able to build. But because I've got the boarding house, I could still get stuff out of here anyway. And here's the thing. I would bet anything. Since Jen did not build in the first chapter, I bet she is going to build in the second chapter. I bet you that is what she is deciding because she's got tons of money and gold and people. And she knows, she figures, I'm not going to go there because I already did building and I, there's no reason for me to come here again. And she knows Buster's not going to go there. So, spoiler alert, she's totally going to three. And I know that if she goes to three, she will get to build two buildings, which will upset the benefit I got. So I think, I'm going to play some mind games. I'm going to go to three as well. The last thing Jen would have expected me to do. And we all reveal, three! And just like, no! So, um, right. Three is going to be the bust. Because this is where we both went. And no matter where Buster... Buster, even if he could join us, doesn't matter. Because remember, whichever place has the most pioneers, that's the bust. And uh, Buster went to number one. So, um, he, oh, if he were a human player, hey, he'd get access to everything at the Barker. But he's not. He's just there to block things. And so... Right. Okay. Well, nobody's doing that. Too. And so here, um, we we do have to pay attention to turn order. At pretty much all of the zones, turn order doesn't matter. The only time it does is if multiple people want to try to build bridges at the same time, then it's uh, the sheriff gets to go first. And also, if multiple people want to help try to defend the town, there's a finite number of places you could go. So again, turn order is broken. But otherwise, you know, people can, um, you know, travel the prairie at the same time or go to the Barker at the same time. Oh, there's another one. If, um, although no, if multiple players went here, then this would have bust and therefore this action wouldn't have happened and you couldn't have stole. Anyway though, so I'm going to get to go first. Not that it matters. And like I said, I have no, um, uh, you know, no money, no gold. I cannot build. But my boarding house says two things. If I come to site three and there's a bust, which there is, I get to draw another card. Boop! So now I've got a foundry, which will reward me if I visit the traveling Barker. And then the other thing I can do, in addition to building, um, you know, the, the stuff here is in addition to what I'd normally be able to do. I can give up a card to get two dudes. I would like two more dudes, please. Because I could be going for getting a, a posse together to come protect the town from all this trouble that Jen has brought down upon us. Because there are point scoring opportunities. So anyway, uh, to get these two dudes, i got to give up a card. Um, oh, speaking of cards, by the way, this is so easy to forget. Every time you build, don't forget, you score six points. So I'm up to 12 uh, versus Jen six. Right, don't forget that. So which of these buildings am I going to jettison? Uh, visiting the Barker means that if I come to the Barker and I had stolen from the Outlaws, I could get rid of that now to do another wheelbarrow action, to trigger another wheelbarrow, uh, which is cool, but except I haven't stolen from the Outlaws. Um, although, interestingly, uh, when I come here, if I'm, a, if I'm not bust, I get to steal from the Outlaws. And, and stealing from the Outlaws, yeah, oh. But that all requires me stealing from the Outlaws, which is a great source of income, but the more we steal, the more they come for us. I think I'm just going to dump the foundry. Because, I mean, well, the other thing that the foundry, you know, when coming to the Barker does, spend money to get camps, spend money to get horses, and steal. Jen's already stolen most of everything. Yeah, this is the card I'm just going to get rid of. Now I can put it back on the top or I can put it on the bottom. I don't think I care about it. I might regret that later. I'm putting it on the bottom. So I've come here and I drew a card and I got rid of that card to get two more guys and I'm done. But more importantly, now it's Jen's turn. She is only going to build one building instead of two. Right, and it's with the saw, so that means she has to use money. Because building with the saw means two bucks and two dudes. So Jen is going to spend two dudes, 
And she could either spend two bucks, or because gold is still worth two, she'll just spend a single gold. Uh, that counts for the two. You cannot spend money in the place of gold, but you can spend gold in the place of money. Alrighty, so Jen can build, gets to build one building, and all these buildings will be available to her next round because they're all for Area 1, which is about to open up. So, does Jen want the one that gives her more dudes, the one that gives her camps, the one that gives her money, or the one that gives her more cards? I think Jen will take... She's not going to get any more dudes for a while until it comes all the way back around, and that's the, you know, the uh, beginning of Chapter 2. So she want more dudes. Because um, free money, the money event is coming up. Yeah, I think Jen will take the one that gives her more dudes. Okay. Because she knows she might need more dudes to help defend town as well. So Jen is going to build her first building. She spent one gold, two dudes, because it was the saw action, because I kind of blocked her. And so she has a saloon, which gets her six points. Don't forget that. All righty. And so now in the future, if Jen does shovels, she gets two cards and two dudes. And if she doesn't bust, she also gets a gold and another dude uh, for having her saloon. All right. So that was that. And although interestingly, Jen could use this barrel now, even though it's bust, Jen could do a uh, another build, but she can't. Because, um, well, no, she could. She could use her last... So she could still build by using this. What the heck? She'll use it anyway. So she is still, even though I bought... So she... Right. And she will take the one that gives her more money. So her last bit of gold and her last dude. All right. So she had to use the special power from Angerin, the... Whatchamacallum? The, the bandits. And so that's that. Jen has used up all of her ill-gotten gains, but she got her two buildings built anyway. And she's still got two more she could build. Okay. And so now, I definitely know she wants to go to um, Zone 1, because it's about to open up, because she'll get a huge payday for that. Okay. So that was the end of the second chapter. Everybody goes home. All righty. Go home. Uh, we reset the uh, bust, because there was a bust. We move on. We trigger this event. Everybody gets a gold. Because nobody's built a camp here to get two gold. So everybody gets a gold. All right. Cool. And uh, now, once again, it's time to start deliberating where we want to go. And let's see what Buster has in store for us. All right, Buster, what are you thinking? Buster says three and five, which means he could go to one, two, or four. One, two, or four. And Jen's like, no, don't go there, Buster. Although here's the problem. Here's the problem for Jen. She wants to go to zone one now, but unfortunately, if there's not a bus someplace else, the boom space of zone one is, is covered. Um, so Jen is hoping that I go to, um, to site two or site four and that I end up busting because Buster's there. And Jen's figuring, what are the chances of that happening? What are the chances, Jen says. And um, so she figures, oh, that's kind of a bummer, which means she can still come here, but she'll only get her top. She'll get two, uh, two cards, two dudes, and two bucks, but she won't get the gold. And she'd rather wait to come here. I mean, but she can come here multiple times. She could go there every single turn and just try to get the big payday for all this stuff. Ugh. But, um, right. So I think she will anyway, and she's just going to hope that wherever I go, that's where Buster goes as well, and so she gets the uh, payday. Right, okay. So Jen is secretly choosing number one. And where am I going to go? So what do I want to do? Okay, I've got my gold now. Remember, I got my gold, so now I can be more efficient in this space, but the marker's covering it up. So I'm going to have to save my gold and my dudes for later. Oh, wait, but no, but I still can't do it because I don't have the money. If I want to be peak efficient here, uh, like Jen had at the beginning, I need uh, two gold, or uh, you know, two money, one gold, and two dudes. I, oh, although, remember, I do. I mean, I could do a single, but I still need the two money if I want to be able to do both to do two rivers. Or a river, and if I, and if I want to do a river and a bridge, well, again, it depends. If, if I get the boom and bust, that would be like two golds, two dudes, two money and two dudes, four dudes, two go. I mean, so if I wait, but I, I have no more gold coming in unless I go to zone one when it's not bust because I could get a gold there as well. But there is gold out on the plain, out on the prairie. So I think, folks, it is time to, uh, you know, hitch up the wagon. We are, we're going exploring. So everybody reveals. I reveal, I'm a... Uh, and I hope, I have no idea if Buster's going there. I hope he doesn't. 
Jen says, Jen hopes and prays Buster does go there because then her, um, you know, will bust and she'll get her full action that she's hoping for. And what does Buster have in mind? Okay, Buster, not number four, not number four, Buster. Anywhere but number four. Number one or number two, Buster? Number one or number two? Not number four. Oh, which one to take? This one. One! Okay. Buster went to number one. All right, so that was busted. It just stays busted. So Jen is only, I mean, Jen took a chance, and I took a chance, and it paid off. I'm going to get to do a double move, which maybe changes what I was about to do. That might change things significantly. All right, but anyway, first we reveal this. Jen is here, but again, Buster never does anything. Jen only gets to do the main thing because Buster bust, or Buster failed to bust elsewhere. And so Jen does the shovel. She gets two cards, two dudes, and two more bucks. And so nice that officially this game, they are referred to as Bucks. So I always call games Bucks in my videos, and people always get upset with me for not calling them, you know, Sisteri or, you know, whatever they're supposed to be, or Franks. Uh, but here they actually are called Bucks, because it's the American West. They're Saw Bucks. So two Bucks, two more dudes, and nothing else because the, uh, the wheelbarrow was so she doesn't get the gold or the extra money or the extra dude. All right, so that's resolved. Coming around to me. I get two moves. Now, the distance I move for each of these actions is equal to the number of horses I have. I only have one, so that means I can move, and then I can move again. Now, originally, if I would have only been able to move one because Buster came over here and he busted me, I would have moved one, and I would have gone right here, and boom, I would have access to gold! And then I'd have the two gold I need for a more efficient build over there. But now I get two moves instead of one. And instead of heading west, young man, and getting gold, finding gold in Union Town, I could head south towards Hangtown. How appropriate, seeing as how this is a sequel to Hangtown. And since I have two moves, my first move will be to move one, and now I'm done. Um, and if, whenever you move, as you move, if you stop on or cross over any of the small towns or any of the big cities, you immediately get the reward. But um, if you cross through big cities, you only get the dude reward. If you stop at big cities, you can get the dude reward or the alternative reward, a camp or another opportunity to steal. So, yeah. if I go two, if I go one, okay, I'm done. Nothing happened. But I get to go again, because I've only got one horse. I wish I had two horses, because then I could go two, and then I could go two again. I go two. I've made it to Hangtown. And since I'm stopping here, I have a choice. I can give myself four more dudes, or I can steal this. This would let me move again. This would be another wagon action. I could use it immediately and move up here and get two dudes. Or I can move over here and get two dudes. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to stop. I'm going to get four dudes. And I'll tell you why, folks. Like I said, Jen stirred up a hornet nest. There's a whole heap of trouble coming our way. And I've got so many dudes now that I am going to stand alongside Buster's crew and round up my own posse and try to fight these guys off. Because I've got a bajillion um, dudes now. Okay, because I came over to Hangtown to recruit them. So that was it. And I get no bonuses off of this because I don't. I didn't build my number four building, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Like I said, I might have regretted that. I'm regretting it now. Anyway, so uh, that was the end of that chapter. So everybody uh, goes home, sliding on over. The new event is uh, everybody gets two cards. Okay, and let's see. I've got the trading post, which is a uh, upgrading uh, site one, and express office upgrading site one. And Jen draws two cards, and see. So. The Undertaker, we talked about him earlier, and uh, the brewery, where if you visit the Barker... Oh, see, now this is great for Jen. She's got these uh, ill-gotten goods. She can convert them into gold at the brewery. Nice. Okay. So that's interesting. And um, we've done the event. Once again, we are going to see where Buster is bound. And he says, uh, not number one, not number four. So that means uh, two, three, or five. Two. There we go. Yes, two, three, or five. And now that's kind of a bummer, Buster. Buster, you suck. You suck, Bust. You sucky, Bust. Because here's the thing. I was thinking, hey, I was going to come here, and um, either I was going to get gold if I can only move one space, or I was going to come here and get a whole bunch of guys. Now I've got all these guys. I want to come up here to Site 5, because that lets me deploy my guys. But if I don't bust when I come here, I get an extra tent for free. And that's huge! But if I come here and Buster goes there, then I... Ah, Buster! Buster! What are you, th what are you doing to me, man? All right, Buster. 
But here's the thing. There's not much time to do this. Next turn, I, we won't be able to travel the prairie. And in the last turn, we won't be able to deploy defenses. So I've got this round and next round to deploy defenses to save the town. So I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to do it anyway. I'm here to save the town, and I hope Buster has other plans in mind. So I'm going to space number five. And meanwhile, what is Jen going to do? Jen says, oh, Buster's not coming here. And she knows I don't really have much of a reason to come here because I don't upgrade my number one. So she can come here again and get a whole bunch more resources. She's got stuff to build. But she realizes, here's the thing. Here's what we have to consider because we're running out of time. Jen could come up here as well. She's got two dudes she could deploy into this spot, or she could deploy a single dude right here. And she wants to spend some time during the chapter to deploy at least one dude. At the very least, one dude. Because if you don't defend town at all, and the outlaws win, then you either lose two town folks, i.e. two points, or three townsfolk, i.e. three points. And then if you lose three more townsfolk at the end of the second chapter, then you lose six points and then nine points if you keep losing them. So they get more and more expensive to lose. And so Jen knows she's got this round or next round um, to deploy here because she won't get a chance later. So she could go for it now. But you know what? I mean, no, she's just going to go to one again. Because she's going to try and recruit some more guys before she deploys. Because she figures this is the best time. Um, Buster's not here. She wants total access to this. So we'll see what happens. Okay. So Jen says one. I say five. And then Jen breathes a sigh of relief. She's glad she didn't go there because then, boom, it would have been a bust. And it would have been a waste of time. So now Jen's thinking she'll go here next round after I've done my time there. And But here's Buster. Here's the spoiler. Buster, do not show me card number five, Buster. I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to see it, Buster. I want to see anything but five. You hear me, Buster? Here we go. Oh, two. All righty. So Buster went to two. Phew. Okay. So um, we, we both get full dibs. This time, Jen gets the big payout. Two more cards. Um, you know, two, all right. So a gold. And two more cards. And, um, and then two du uh, two, three dudes. And then three bucks. Boom. And Jen's getting loaded. One, two, three. How much money does she have here now? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. She has eight bucks. Yowza. Okay. Money isn't really worth anything at the end of the game unless you build this bridge, at which point having excess money is worth something. Okay. So um, that paid off for Jen. She got everything she had hoped for. And all right, Buster doesn't do anything. Coming over to me. And now I get both of these actions. So first of all, I get a free extra tent. So I've got two camps I could deploy. And so now I'm up here. I don't have any bonuses. I haven't used any of my bonuses yet. This is crazy. But I can deploy to one of these groupings. I've got so many guys, I'm going to go big. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So I am now the best defender. There are eight bad guys coming. There's eight defenders. That's not good enough. Jen's got to help out. So I'm assuming next turn she will help out by jumping into one of these other ones because we just need one more and the town will be saved. And if the town is saved, since I will have contributed the most, I'll get six points and I'll hold on to first player. Um, Buster, who doesn't care about points, would have contributed the second most. He, uh, he would get three. And Jen, she'll get one point. And on the flip side, if Jen doesn't help now, because all she has to do is put one in, then what will happen is um, we will lose. And since I was the best uh, defender in the case of a loss, I will get three points. Buster will get one point. Again, he doesn't care. And Jen will lose one townsfolk. Oh, no, if Jen doesn't help at all, she will lose three townsfolk. So I've got a pretty good feeling Jen is going to help out. So I have deployed my, and I, you know, I, even though I have more, I could only deploy into one of these zones. I deployed into the biggest one because if I'd done four, then Jen, um, you know, Jen could do five. So that because yeah, because Jen has five, Jen could get the biggest reward. So I want a big reward. I'm taking all these guys offline to protect town, so I can't build with them or anything. But hey, I got so many guys uh, that I, I could still do stuff later. All right. So well done, boys. And, um, right, that's it for me. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I also get to deploy camps. And I've got two camps. The one we started with and another one. Now, these camps can go either to... I can put one camp in each of these upgrade spots. And that means for the rest of the game, that upgrade will be doubled. Remember how earlier I got one gold? If I put this here, I'll get two gold. This means putting it here will give me two gold. Um, you know, in the, in the second and the third year. 
But if I really want to leverage it, I could put it over here because this hasn't happened yet. So instead of getting two bucks when the spoke comes around, I'll get four. So that's six bucks if I put that right there. That is six bucks. That's not nothing. That would be a very nice income stream for me. I could also put it over here. We haven't seen this one yet. This is the one at the end of the uh, at the end of the year. We can give up one gold to get three bucks, but I could give up two gold to get six bucks. And that may not sound like a lot, but that's like building a building. So that's a pretty big deal. But no, I'm not. I'm, I'm going to put this one here, and I'm going to put the other one. I'm not going to put it on any of these. Although I would like to get more money. I would like to get more dudes. But I'm going to put it out on the prairie. Because I'm over at Hangtown, and Hangtown is adjacent to this orange zone, I'm going to put it here. I have actually settled this territory now, which translates to three points. Not that big a deal. But if I travel around more and then put another camp out here, then I've settled two territories, that's six points. And if I get over here or here, that could be ten. And, you know, I certainly have a reason to say travel this way, because if I travel from Hangtown to Folsom Lake, I could recruit more dudes along the way and drop off more camps to make more money by the end of the game. So, and if I really want to focus on that, I should get some more horses so I can travel faster. But anyway, so that's it. I've deployed my guys and I've deployed um, my camps. I am done, you know, the camp I had plus when I started. So we are done with that chapter of the game. And so everybody goes home. We um, reset the wheel and move on. And so, the new, hey, I get four bucks, not two. And Jen gets two more bucks anyway. She's at ten bucks now. Yowza. Okay, so that's the event. And um, it is time, once again, to start deciding what is what on this first year. Chapter four. All right, here we go. Um, one and two. So Buster's going to three, four, or five. Uh, three, four, or five. Okay. So, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Now, so, this is Jen's last chance. If she does not go to five, if she does not go to five, then she cannot deploy, which means she will lose three points. But it also means I'll lose the opportunity to score six points. So, it kind of comes out in the wash. So, Jen's not that worried about it. With more players, she'd be worried about it a little bit more. Now, the reality is, I've still got guys. I might come back here to deploy a few more guys and do it myself. Jen doesn't know that. Jen knows one is wide open. She can just get a bunch more stuff with all of her stuff. But she's got gold. She's got money. I think she's going to go back to building buildings. Although, Buster might block her. She could go back to doing rivers. Because Buster won't block her. So yeah, she's going she's gonna to go surveying or maybe build a bridge. That's what Jen is doing. Okay. Although, because again, since she's not defending town, she's going to lose three townsfolk. She knows it because we won't have enough to beat it, but that's just three points lost, the first three, no big deal. And, you know, that, right, so she's also keeping three extra points away from me for being the, you know, the true hero of saving the town. All right, so that's Jen's choice. It's a little cold-hearted, um, but where am I going to go? So I got to decide, am I going to try and help with town? I'm just assuming Jen's going to help, because I'm assuming Jen, because it's no big deal to lose three. It's just three points, but then if you lose more guys, it starts adding up over the course of the game. Plus, Jen caused this. She brought these guys down on us, so she should totally help. So I'm totally assuming she's going there. And remember, I've been waiting the whole game, the whole game, to take advantage of my cool superpowers. So I'm going to go, unbeknownst to me, right where Jen's going. I'm going to go to Region 2. So I reveal it, and Jen says, No, what are you doing? That's where I'm going. I'm like, What are you doing? What are you... Ah! And meanwhile, Buster says, Yeah, I'm going to go to space number 3. Which, okay, if Jen had gone here... Whoa, that would have been a very interesting situation. If Jen had gone here, no, actually, no, it would have been, the, you know, so this was busted, it would have stayed busted. Right, okay, yeah, so, but if Jen had gone here and Buster had gone here, then uh, the bust would, right, it doesn't matter. I, I'm just saying, there's one thing that hasn't happened yet. I think I talked about this right up front. If you take a chance and go someplace where you know the bust is, because you suspect, based on what your other players are going to do, the bust will move away, say it moves away over to here, what happens is you reveal the signpost. And the signpost says, you don't get to do this boom action, you do this boom action. So it can be a really weird thing of, hey, I could um, do river stuff and building. You know, in this particular case. Although what happens is, say, um, you know, I went here hoping that this bust would move away. And let's say the bust happened over here, and it went like this. Now the signpost is pointing at a bust, so I'm still bust. All right, so that can definitely be um, st uh, some interesting uh, stuff that can happen. I think it's more likely to happen with more players. But anyway, so Buster, I forgot where he went. Oh, he went to three, and we both went to two. So bust, 
which would make uh, which would make a bust or a player. He'd be sad because hey, I get to do a thing in the sign post, which is a bust. All right. So anyway, so we both only get to do one, and again, I get to go first. So if we were trying to build bridges now, I would get first dibs on bridges, but I cannot build bridges because I do not have two gold, and you need two gold um, or four bucks to build a bridge. Um, but I've got the money. I th but I'm only going to get to do one here. But oh, don't forget. I've got the post office. And since we're bust, I get the special power of my post office. Yay! So I'm very happy. Okay, so I've got one, two, three actions I get to do. Jen only has one. What are my actions going to be? Um, let's see. Well, you better believe I'm going to give up two cards to get a horse and three bucks. So now... I'm going to be traveling the plains much faster. And three more bucks for me. One, two, three. All right, so now it's like Jen doesn't seem quite so rich, but i got to give up two of these cards. Which again, though, I, if, I, if I really want them and I just don't want them right now, when I discard them, I can put them on the top of the deck so they'll come right back into my life very quickly. Very interesting, that. So, I haven't upgraded my Space 1. All right, if I'm thinking, I've now I've got two horses. I've got a more vested interest in traveling. So this toll house becomes much more interesting at this point because it um, allows me to place camps, which are normally I have to go to space five to place camps. It allows me to buy a camp and then place a camp. If I pay two bucks, um, if we bust, I could buy a camp and then I could place a camp while traveling. And now that I travel, if I get to do a single travel, I go one, two, but if I could go one, two, three, four, and then I could place a camp over here without having to go there, that could be pretty cool. Or I could go one, two, three, four, and recruit six guys. Six dudes! Although, I've only got three more dudes to recruit. All right, but anyway, so I think I'm going to build the Toll House, because I'm going to start being all about that. I'm still trying to think of which cards to get rid of. And yeah, I'll do the Outpost, because hey, if I've got excess horses, I can trade them in for Cowboys when I go to Site 5. So these are the two cards. I'm still, I'm just never going to go to Site 1. I'm getting rid of both those cards, like I did at the beginning of the game to turn them into three bucks and a horsey horse. Okay, so I've done my cool post office powers, and now I will actually either survey or build a bridge. Because I've got enough money, I've got enough dudes, I could build a bridge, and once this is gone, that's it. And when I'm with more players, there's two of each of these, so if one player gets one, there's another. But in a single player game, once they're gone, they're gone. And, um, right, or I could, so I've got one gold, I've got two bucks, and I do have three dudes, I could survey two rivers. But I can't do both, can I? I think I can. No, I don't. I would need um, six dudes, and I do not have six dudes to be able to survey and build. So, so I'm not worried about bridges. I'm just going to do two rivers. All right. Um, wait a minute. But no. Why, why, why am I talking about two? Because I totally forgot. Since we bust, I can only do one. It doesn't matter if I can do two. I'm only doing one. So what am I going to do? Gold is still worth two bucks. So I, with a single gold, um, and plus two bucks, I could build a bridge. Or with a single gold and no bucks, I could build a river. Now here's the thing. Um, gold might get cheaper. Gold might be worth less pretty soon. But on the flip side, next round, I'm going to be able to turn that one gold nugget I have into three points. So do I hold on to this gold so I can do that later? Or do I use this gold while it's worth two bucks so I can save my money for more builds in the future? That's the question, isn't it? I think I'm going to hold on to my gold. So I'm just going to spend two bucks and two dudes to um, scout a river. And actually, I could scout the river that will let me steal the last thing. And maybe I should. Because that, that's going to bring four more outlaws. They're all coming. Because here's the deal. Now I can see Jen did not do her job, and next turn no one can do her job, so we are going to fail. We're going to fail. There's no winning. So hey, I might as well at least take advantage of it and get a barrel out of it, right? Yeah, what the heck. Let's do it. I'm going to come over here, which gives me two points. I've stolen the you know all of the outlaws' uh, bounty is stolen, and so they are all coming to town. One, two, three, four. We couldn't fight them off anyway, me and Buster, since Jen didn't help. So... Um, in for a penny, in for a pound. They're all here. And, hey, I could use this right now. I could use this right now and move to, because I've got two horses, so I'd be very close to getting to the next territory. Or I could move to this way and pick up four more dudes, because now there's five dudes for me to pick up again. Oh, but I don't have to. I could do it later. I'm just going to wait. I'm going to wait and be excited about that. It's something I can do whenever I want. Okay. Plus, after I've used this, I could potentially, um, you know, sell it off. Uh, at certain uh, positions and whatnot, if I get the right buildings built or what have you. All right, so that was it for me. I'm done. I did three things. Jen only gets to do one. She gets to build a bridge 
or um, do another river. She could get herself a horse in eight points. She could get herself a camp in six points. No, Jen is going to um, build a bridge over a river, which is going to cost her four bucks. So there goes her five. She gets one and change. And four dudes. One, two, three, four. So Jen is building a river. Or I'm sorry, for, uh, crossing a river. So this is three points for every river. So this is up to 12 points. If you do all the rivers, this will be a 12 point thing. This is three points for every horse, which is 12. Because there's a reminder right here, you can only have up to four horses. Um, this is three points for every time you steal from the outlaws. So that, Jen has already stole three times. This is a nine point card already and we got a lot of game to go. Although this maxes out at 15. This is three points for every camp you use. I've done an upgrade, Jen has not. This is for every building you build three points. So buildings are suddenly worth nine points instead of six. Although again, all of these top out at 15, these top out at 12. This is for having excess money. I think Jen is gonna be stealing a lot from those guys. Jen is gonna build a bridge. Doesn't do anything for her right now, but it's already nine points and it could potentially go up to 15 if she keeps stealing from these guys, which she plans on doing. And now I know she plans on doing it because she took that bridge. So she has built and she, um, she has enough to do more, but I blocked her in, in, inadvertently. Okay, so, and that's that. We come up, it's the final event. We got to reset this. So I, ah, do we give up our gold to get three points? Jen has two gold. She would like to use that gold for other things. Jen doesn't mind going to one as much to get gold that way. Jen's going to do it. She'll give up a gold to get three. One, two, three. Am I going to give up my only gold? I am not. I'm going to hold on to my gold. I'm going to hold on to my gold. All right. So, um, so that's it. We've done that event. And um, now, this is our last uh, chance. Our last action, although we cannot defend the town anymore. It's too late for that. The, uh, the uh, sun is set on saving the town, and the town will not be saved. But that's going to hurt Jen more than me. All right. Buster says, um, not two or four, so he is a one, three, five. One, three, five. Okay. And where are we going? What are we doing? Where are we going? What are we doing? Hmm. All right. Does Jen have enough? To do two rivers? No, she doesn't. She doesn't have enough dudes. So she's so low on dudes, she can't... She could come here and do one river with her one gold if she comes here. She could... She could just come to one and get some more dudes, though, because she's so low on dudes and get a lot of stuff. I think that's what she's going to do. Jen's just going to keep on running her little mini engine. So she's going to one. I don't know that yet. And what am I doing? I've still got my gold. I've got my dudes. With a gold and one dude, I could do another river. Um, if I had two gold and two dudes, I could do... Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or, but, oh, no, no, I want to build. I want to build. I want to build. So if I come over here to build, I do have the money. So I could build another building. I think, yeah, I haven't built a building for a while. So I'm going to go to three, which is a risky, but I don't have enough to... I mean, it's not that much of a risk because I don't think I have enough to do both of these actions anyway. Yeah, I only have two dudes. If I had three dudes, I could potentially do both. Wait a minute. I get a third. Okay, so I could potentially pull this off. I could potentially do two builds. Oh, no, but if I, if I, to do, to, I'd have to give up a card, then I wouldn't have two buildings to build. Although I would if I want to build a hotel. Wow. Okay, let's come back a second. I'm planning on building, and J Buster might join me. Jen's planning on one. Okay, we've locked it in. What's Buster up to? Where are you going, Buster? What's he up to? He's going to number three. And. Okay, well, then I don't have to worry about doing a double build anyway, because Buster has busted me. Boom! All right, there will be no double build. Buster! Okay, uh, Jen's turn. She's just doing the shovel and the what's he again, which once again lets her draw, lets her get one more gold, and uh, two cards. So she's got a lot of cards to build here. She really needs, like me, some bil some some buildings that will let her jettison those cards to turn them into more resources. And yeah, I'm sure she's got some. She's oh, so she needs to start building some of these. Alrighty, she gets three more dudes, and she gets three more bucks. She's rich, rich. I tells you, just off this saloon and this poker hall. Um, yeah, you can see how she's making her uh, her living. Coming over to me. Okay, I can only do a what you call it. A uh, I can't think of the word. Um, a hammer build. A hammer build of buildings means I need two bucks and two dudes, which I totally have. So I'm going to be able to build one of these. But um, since we have bust, I get the advantage of drawing another card. 
Wee! So I can build a telegraph office. And in addition to building one building, I can jettison a card to get two dudes. So I'm going to jettison one of these cards, I'm going to build one of these cards. Telegraph office, A. Eh? That means if I do river actions, I, as I, so now it makes river action much better for me because I have four ways I can jettison cards to get a lot of resources by doing river bridge stuff. Oh, I like that a lot. But remember, I was thinking about building this toll bridge because I was thinking I was going to start traveling the Old West, and this allows me to lay camps faster. And it allows me to not be worried about busting, because even if I bust, I get to do something. And what's the other one? Five. Oh, this is if I, if I come here, whenever I come to Zone 5, you know, to defend the town or deploy more camps, I can uh, sell my horses for dudes. And um, if I bust, when I come here, for every two defenders I've got, I get um, a buck. Is that what that one is? I'm not used this one. Let's actually look really quick at Outpost. That one's a new one to me. D -d -d. Outpost, Outpost, Outpost. Yeah, gain one buck for every two gunmen you have at the shootout. Yeah, all right. So that's something. I think that's the least interesting one, though. I want to keep my horses so I can travel faster. So this is the card I'm jettisoning. And I'll put it at the bottom because I don't particularly care about it. If I cared about it, I'd put it at the top. Okay. So um, that was that. I jettisoned that card to uh, drew it and then I jettisoned it or I jettisoned a different one to get two more dudes and now I'm going to build uh, the thing to help me move or the thing to help me at the river see here's the problem I've got I've got all these ways to jettison cards but I'm not drawing cards I need to go to one more often and draw cards but I've given rid of, I've gotten rid of all my upgrades to one Jen she is drowning in cards with not much reason to play them okay uh I really kind of like, you know, being able to get more. So, I mean, do, am I going to be more about traveling or more about river stuff? Because I've got three more rivers to do and four bridges, so I could visit this a lot. And even if I bust, good things happen. Yeah, I'm going to build this. All right, I'm going to build this. So I'm going to put it with my other number two. So as a reminder, hey, these are both my number twos. Look at all the stuff I get. You know, Jen could build her ones. She, in fact, I mean, what Jen does. She actually slides them underneath. So you can see, hey, you know, you, you can make the, like piles of all your different buildings. So at a glance, you know which ones to activate. So anyway, so I can do a bunch of stuff at site number two now. And one thing at site number three, I built that. And that was six more points, which is so easy to forget. And um, right, that was that. So we have finished. Everybody goes home and reset. But it is now the end of the year. And uh, the time has come for the big shootout. Yeehaw! So basically what we do is, it's really simple. It's just math. We've got eight defenders. I forget how many. There are definitely more than seven attackers. If there were seven attackers, we would have won. We checked this. But instead, there's more than seven, so we lost, so we checked this. As the, the biggest, bestest good guy, I hold on to the sheriff's badge, and I get three um, points. One, two, three. Buster, if he cared, he would get one point. Jen is not third because she didn't contribute, so Jen loses three dudes. Three innocent town folk who are her color, so this is less she can recruit now, go to the graveyard. She just lost three points. Although, again, I think she has the Undertaker in here. So maybe she doesn't mind losing them because she'll build the Undertaker and turn that into a golden opportunity. All right, so either way, after the shootout is over, these guys all go home. If we hadn't stalled all their stuff, the remainder of their stuff, they would have taken it because, hey, one of our things didn't get stolen. And all these guys, I get them back. Hold on there, partner. Turns out I do not get them back. They are supposed to go into what is called my personal reserve, which is basically what other games would just call the reserve. And so all these guys who just saved the town, they're out, and i got to go back and start recruiting again. They don't go right back to my own personal board. They go to my personal reserve. Ah, prototype fun once more. But we're almost to the end now, folks. So hang on. Here we go. So, and uh, Buster stays. And we are going on to year number two now, where right from the get-go, four banditos show up and more might show up. They've got new spoils for us to steal. Draw three cards. Oh, I'd like that. Get one horse. Get two gold nuggets. And uh, get a camp and then place a camp. So that's pretty cool. And, um, oh wait, oh wait, and also as part of cleanup, the gold gets returned. So there's more gold found in them thar hills. Although not enough to increase the value of gold back up to three. The value of gold is still going to hold steady at two because we're, we've uh, kind of held on to some of it. And you can see there'd be more gold available with three, four, or five players, obviously. Right. So that's that. 
Right. So, we Space One is blocked. And the game begins again. Where is everybody going to go? What is everybody going to do? And we continue for two more years of Colomia. Coloma. And that's the run-through, folks. Thanks very much for watching. If you want to hear some final thoughts now, you can hit that I in the top right corner screen or follow the show notes in five, four, three, two, one, partner.